Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, saving this baby. What's up, beautiful rays of sunshine? It's your girl, Alex, and today I wanna break down how I make a GIF video. I've noticed these GIF videos popping up all over Instagram, and I really like them. They're a little bit more interesting, a little more fun than just a video, and a lot more to it than a photo, so I'm on board. I have posted a few myself, and with the last GIF I posted, I asked you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, if you wanna see exactly how I make these. Enough of you guys said yes, so here I am breaking down the steps on how I make these little GIF videos. They're actually pretty easy to make, especially with the app that I'm about to show you. But first, let's shoot the GIF, shall we? <laughs> okay, let's go. The first step to making your GIF is to find a location. And I was thinking that I would use, or we would shoot the Ferris wheel, because it's moving, and if I move, I think that'd be a really, really cool GIF. We're headed, where are we? Seattle waterfront? Yeah. To find a gigantic Ferris wheel. We found our composition. Yay! Looking tight. Now to wait for sunset? Or should we just shoot now? You're like, just shoot and get it over with. <laughs> uh, my vote, my vote would be to shoot now or soon. Cause this will get dark right here where we're standing. Let's do it. So, <laughs> come here photographer. The trick to these like GIF images is to have the camera on like a really fast shutter so that you can kind of move around and you get every little movement and it's pretty like smooth. <laughs> exactly. And we're just waiting on Ferris wheel to start moving. Ferris wheel's day off. Ha! That was actually a good one. <laughs> One of those have got to work. Alright, Yeah, I would like to try one more gift for the portrait. Oh, my battery's about to die. Oh my gosh, okay, battery's about to die. Let's try one more quick one. Super cheesy. How's she looking? Uh, it came out way better? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, you, it looks natural. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much the basics of it. You pretty much just have a high shutter speed on, take a lot of photos, move around, and then I will show you now how to put it all together on your computer. Let's go. All right, we are back home. I've already uploaded all the photos onto my computer for my camera, but I have yet to import them right into Lightroom. Let's do that. Import. To start the GIF edit, I wanna click on the first photo and edit how I would like the rest of the GIF to look. And then once that's done, I can copy and paste down the rest of the photos. The thing is to remember is not to add too many masks or too many layers really onto it because then that'll take the paste process a lot longer and you'll have to like tinker with those masks every time you paste it. And a little tip, if you're exporting images for a GIF or just a photo for Instagram is on the export box, scroll down to image sizing and change your resolution from 240 to 72. This way Lightroom will do the compressing, not Instagram, because Instagram kind of sucks at it and will completely ruin the quality of the photo. So try doing it on Lightroom, it makes one heck of a difference. And after all the photos have been exported, I'm going to upload them to a Google Drive box so that I can open them on my phone. So on my phone, I'll open up Google Drive and find the photos that I just uploaded. I'm gonna make two GIF images, one with the close-up images and two of the farther away shots and see which one I like more. I think I'm feeling the far away shots, but I won't know until, until we make the GIF. So let's, let's make both. The thing with the app that I'm about to use is it's easier if you download all the photos in order because you're gonna have to drag and drop them in order. So I take my time and make sure each photo downloads fully before I start downloading the next one. It'll just help me with the next step. These are a lot of fun to make, but as you can see, they are um, a little bit more time consuming than just a photo. Definitely worth it though, in my opinion. The app that I use to make my gifts is called Light Flaps. And it looks like this. 
This app makes it so easy because you can change the speed of the GIF and switch in between the photos. The only issue is it does cost money. There is a seven day free trial, but if you're anything like me and always forget that it's a free trial and you end up paying, it's a hefty amount. <laughs> it was like $50 for the year, but that's a whole year and I'm gonna make a lot of these. So um, if you wanna help, me make that money back, I uh, hit that subscribe button right now. Help a girl out who keeps forgetting about those free trials. We're on the homepage and you can see the other gifts that you have previously made. To start a new one, you wanna hit that big blue plus button. Hit the little gear, name it will go, gift creation bar. Done. To start adding images, we wanna hit the little image plus button in the bottom right corner. We wanna make it vertical for Instagram, so we'll hit next. I do like to upload the photos one by one because I wanna make sure they are in, in the correct order. So when it plays through, it's in the order and it's not jumping everywhere. Um, the first time I tried this, I just tried to upload all of them and went real wonky. So this is why we tried to download them in order off of Google Drive to make this whole step a little easier. So I'm just gonna quickly upload all these photos. All right, now that all our photos are uploaded, we wanna press that big blue play button. And we get to check out the GIF we just made. Ooh, she's looking good, she's looking good, and love it. I just wanna change the speed, quicken it up a little bit. So at the bottom, we can hit speed. Bring it a little closer to the bunny and see how that looks. Oh yeah, much better. Oh. From here, you can add a filter, change the size, boomerang it, but I usually just play with the speed and then export it from here. -na 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 -na. Now, if you wanna tweak or change anything about this GIF, I recommend using the app InShot. I use it so much if I wanna edit my videos, edit my photos last minute. It's also another free app without a trial. So you wanna open InShot and then click video. Upload your video, hit filter, adjust, and you can pretty much do anything that Instagram allows you to do on their photos, but to your video. <sighs> ah! Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, saving this baby. But before I get too carried away with this one, I am going to put together the closer up photos and see what if I like more. But that one is gonna be hard to beat. Okay, let's go make this gif. <laughs> And ta-da, you have created your GIF ready for Instagram. There are other steps to create the GIF, like on Photoshop and such, that are free, but I find this the easiest. I've already paid the $50, so I'm gonna keep using this app. Please DM me the GIFs that you have created by yourself. I would love to see them. I also wanted to address that I haven't made a video in like six months. <sighs> Yeah, but since then, I've moved across the country to BC. We got a new apartment, new setup, new workflow. So, but I'm coming back around and I honestly wanted to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to this comment right here. Honestly, I saw it a month ago and I just like, I knew I needed to get back on here. You guys are supportive. I love this community. I love YouTube. So, um, I've got a new schedule. I'm gonna post, I'm gonna force myself to post every Wednesday, every Sunday, two times a week, videos coming at you on how to pose, how to shoot photos yourself. And thank you guys for sticking around. <laughs> and until then, have a wonderful freaking day. Bye guys.